Some families are trying to get a lower speed limit that they say, well, the one they have now, they say is too high for a neighborhood road. It's 35 miles per hour in that area. And they want it lowered to 25 miles an hour, like they say it is in most other neighborhoods. Channel 9's Gina Esposito went to West Indiana Avenue in Bessemer City today to learn what it would take to make those changes. Neighbors want to know why their quiet neighborhood street here is 35 miles per hour, the same speed limit as this busy highway it runs off of. This is quiet time, but anywhere from 3 to 7, people are just racing up and down this road. Deanna Gwynn says she's lived on West Indiana Avenue since the 70s and never has seen so much traffic here. She says one time she barely escaped a speeding car while she was mowing her lawn. He didn't stop or anything, just straight gone. I'm just scared to death that one of these kids are going to get hit. Neighbors believe drivers use the road as a cut through to Highway 161, which has a posted speed of 35 miles per hour. Before last month, Gwynn Street didn't even have a speed limit sign. Now it does. I don't know why they put on this road 35. It, it should be 20 or 25. Gwynn says police have helped. They've increased patrols a few times a month to this street that is only 0.3 miles long. Still, she wants the speed limit lowered. In an email, city manager James Inman told me the city did studies and found no evidence of speeding. He says the signs are put there at the request of Gwynn. He added a resident would have to petition city council to change the speed limit, but he's not sure what city engineers would recommend if there were no accidents. We checked and we did find similar neighborhoods in Bessemer City where the speed limit was posted at 25 miles per hour, including this one off West Iowa Avenue, not too far from the high school. The reason many neighborhood streets are at 25 miles per hour is because studies show that at that speed it gives drivers more time to react to people on the road or any sort of objects. Back to you. That was our Gina Esposito reporting. The city of Charlotte took steps last year to help residents make changes in their neighborhood. Speed limits were lowered in residential neighborhoods from 35 miles per hour to 25 miles per hour. In the past, residents needed to petition to get speed bumps if they wanted that. But now all it requires is a signature from just one homeowner.